Hi guys, welcome again to a, to another quick cutting out video. Um, this time a guy wants a West Island Terrier. Now, as you've se if you've seen my other videos, generally this is sketched out in Adobe Illustrator um, and then gets posted into Always Vectric Aspire, only because I use this one as a word router as well. Um, so like I say, the usual up here, that's my work, that's my work area. So if we just import vectors, which I did, and there hopefully, as you can see, if it turns out okay, should look good. Um, so what we'll do is, once it's exported to a DXF, what I have noticed is if you click this fit curves to selected vectors, you can get an option. Now, if you then go to as you can always see, generally speaking, a DXF will transfer it to these straight lines here. Tons of nodes. Now, sometimes it makes for a not so good cut. It just depends. Um, but I, I generally convert it to Bezier curves, which obviously is a lot smoother. Now, if I just export that to a DXF, it'll obviously go back to all straight lines. So I don't. I generally export it to an SVG because sheet cam will take. SVG so for me it's just a smoother cut so that I did obviously yesterday so we'll just go into sheet cam so we'll import our that's the one basic and there we go um, lots of me so obviously quickly We've got to put an in. We've got to choose whether it's an inside or an outside cut. So we hit on contours, and then what we'll do basically do is stick the first one to a new layer, so we know what we're on about. So cut, uh, and then we'll basically choose and put everything on an inside cut. We'll have that one. So I cut. Inside so cut. Only two more left. Quite an easy, quite an easy one. This one, other than the football signs, I do. There can be a little uh, working out job. Just a little inside cut, so then we'll go to the outside. We'll move to a new layer. It's only so we can distinguish in a second. So I just make sure that's on. Outside cut, so then we'll choose. We'll go on to a new operation. So again, these guys, these are all the tools what I generally use on this JASIC uh, for the 16 gauge up to about 1.8 mil. So we'll set it inside offset to inside cut. Generally, uh, you always want the cut direction to be on the right hand side. So basically, um, an inside cut, I always got shown that it's got a cut anti-clockwise, uh, outside cut clockwise. That's opposite on uh, on sheet cam, so I've just got to tick that box. The rest of them can be left unticked. Uh, inside cut, I use 1.8. Now that will be that will determine. Obviously, I'll give you an example between this bit here. So if you can see this part, now obviously if that's kind of a thin line and you put a two two mil and that's 1.8 mil, sheet cam won't let you. So you're gonna to have to do some editing. Generally, most of my cutting, you'll be quite surprised what a 1.7 mil inside cut will do and it'll, it'll show you the arc in a minute um, I always sent them 1.8 click OK so there we go so obviously it'll number the start points and uh, we can edit those with the with the S's um, if you want to adjust them generally it does a pretty good job of it so I'll just leave it standard so again we then go back to the outside cut and then the 
outside offset to outside cut again holes and corners I have them set I think it's lower than 45 degrees I think it is oh check yeah it'll just slow down to 60% of the speed just so it's a smoother smoother circle or a tight edge um, that's pretty much ok so we'll click ok and there we go on the outside now once that's done you can obviously use the simulator if you wish but I pretty much know what it'll turn out like fingers crossed so hit the post plot post G code and we save it and that's it it's done that's ready for Mac 3 so I'll just uh, shut this down I'll plug the CNC in and we'll uh, we'll watch it cut
guys. Pull them out the way. We'll see what it turns out like. guys so we'll spray that uh, that'll look cool when it's sprayed cheers guys we're back in a sec <laughs> 